is the Wogcast video two uh, Saturday night. We've got joined by Tom, the assistant director of tournament fulfillment happiness here. El vice president, VP. Uh, wanted to sit down and talk about the Orkin goblins that we kind of both uh, play with here and love. So okay, so you've got some strategy. Uh, I've got some issues. I, I need to field an all goblin. I've been yeah. collecting all goblins forever. Right? Forever and ever. Forever and ever. And I keep collecting more and more and more. My problem is that no matter how big the army is, how many points are allowed, and 2400 is a very popular amount right now, right? Right. So, I end up getting in everything. You know, the Doom Divers are very viable. Right. And I'm talking about a goblin army, not a night goblin army. No night goblin. Not an straight orc, goblin. No savage orcs, just straight goblins. Okay. And a lot of people have talked about it, right? Right, right. But once you fit in the Doom Divers, the two goblins, the stone throwers. Two stone throwers, right? sure. Uh, maybe some black throwers, probably not. Two to four. They're okay. They're situational. Like kind of like the Doom Diver. It can be good, but uh, yeah. Then you fit in your magic. You fit in your lords. You take a few chariots. Okay. A few. Gotcha. I mean, you can go chariot maxed out and go crazy, like two you units of nine, three. But, you know, and, you know. Say at least two units of two chariots. Right. Maybe three units of two. I, I prefer the units of two over three on paper. I gotta see. Uh. I'm running out of room yeah, to include yeah, goblins. Right. <laughs> ah, once you fit in all your special and rares. You and would fit here with 24 so points. Doing? You could actually get in a whole bunch of goblins. Right. But really, you need your goblin units to be big. Right, so you hit, so, you hit 200 points pretty quick uh -huh. with a, a goblin unit. 50 is probably, you know, maybe people go 40, 50 is kind of nice. You can go with the ranks, you don't really need the whole formation. Right. Skulkers are kind of cool. I mean, by the yeah. time you're already investing over 200 points, what's an extra 20 points for two skulkers? Yeah. And you've got the full command in there, you've got those units, but... That's not a great big army. If you only have two or three <laughs> goblin units, right, and right. the rest of your stuff's just toys with some heroes and some defense, yeah, yeah. that's not going to do it. Yeah, and like, but then you got to be thinking against hammers or uh, something that is mean. Oh, there's no way. Or a choppy. I guess if you're getting a, if you're getting hit by a choppy unit, you can be stubborn uh, with your steadfast there for a little while. Right. So what do you know? What would you use for your hammer unit? Would you put a giant spider in there, or rely on a couple of chariots on the charge to kind of go eat through the you know armor or toughness forward? I guess what I'm hearing about it is that people end up having to play pretty defensive with the OMG. Uh, yeah. You know, I guess Helen was talking about it. And Helen, you know, you want to play offensive. You want to get in there, and yeah. maybe that's the same. Savage Orc way. Uh, I've had fun with that. But once you start getting away from the savages, it's more of a defensive type of army. Uh -huh. You have to pick them apart, and then winning combats is pretty tough. Yeah, strength three, spears, or handle up and shield. I mean, do you go for the parry save? Well, I mean, just because of the, the things mix. that I've collected, I'd love to field 50 with short bow, 50 with spears, and 50 with shields. One of each, yeah. You know. And that's kind of some versatility, which plays off well. But none of those units are going to do anything. Yeah. <laughs> They're just going to stick. Yeah. So your goal would be to keep them out of combat until turn five or six, mm -hmm. right? Then fine, let somebody come in as long as you make your rerolls, with right. your BSB. Hopefully you're okay. Right. Maybe you can take out their hero with killing blow from Nas 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 yeah, the Skulkers or right. something. Uh, but really, it's more of a whittling type of job. Yeah. And the goblin magic can assist with that. You can oh. get poison, you can get uh, the itchy nuisance, you can get the um, uh, the base spell is uh, armor piercing attacks, reroll if you're in the flank. So there's there's a lot of situational things which are good, um, but then you lack like magic offense. You don't have a big direct damage spell, which the orcs have a lot of. So they exactly. lack on uh, the other part, which is the augment and hex. I only got like two of those, and really one is just a mage buff for plus three strength, toughness, and a ward save. Which if you already got a savager, you already got. Right. So, um, good not, point. Yeah. It, 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 the army plays well when you have a mix. Yeah. And once you start to go focused on any one besides savage orcs, a lot of people on uh, some of the 
DeWarPath.com will talk about having a unit of the Savage Orcs, a unit of the Black Orcs. Those can be kind of a hammer unit. Uh, big unit of goblins or night goblins, depending on your flavor of choice, for a steadfast unit or a horde unit to either take or hold a flank. Um, and then it's just kind of everything else that's, you know, do you want more shooting? Do you want more manglers and pump wagons? Uh, you know, which way do you go with it? It's kind of up to you. Uh, there's a couple of armies that we have, which are mainly a mix. Um, and that's what I've seen, as far as I can say. Uh, Scott Tipsword brought a mix of uh, more orcs, I think, than goblins. But, yeah. Um, then I think the mix is the balance that's going to do the best. So you're in a goblin themed army, though, you're probably, in, like you're saying, playing more defensive. Would you corner deploy? Would you try and do. Uh, your three big blocks on one flank, and then maybe the other one have more chariots. And if they're fast, and they're going to uh -huh. get to you, yeah. and you can't pick them apart fast enough. Right. You know, uh, what, one, one idea is with the uh, wolf riders, just being fast, just to be able to get out of the way. But of course, yeah. then if you're fleeing anything, and you're not going to have your leadership around to help you out, yeah. then you might not come back. Okay. Yeah, uh, yeah, it's, but it's, it's kind of tough. That's not bad to get, you know, get some uh, fast, well, the wolf riders, wolf riders or spider riders. Riders. Now they're taking the big rank unit, get those in the flank. Plus, you can take a lot of them. At 10 points each, they were reduced. And so yes. I'm planning on taking two units of 10 or so. Uh, 20, actually. Oh, 20? Yeah, just wow. going for it. Because for one, I mean, nice. it doesn't take up that. You know, it takes about the same amount of running as 50 or 60 goblins. Maybe. Right. <laughs> and it's extremely fast. Right. So there's uh, who is it? Tupper uh, brought a dark elf army, and he's got a dragon, a male hydra, which is kind of his combat stompy guy for a creature, I'd imagine. And I think of Pegasus, like a dark Pegasus. So he, well, he's got multiple units that are fast, that can vanguard, that can get into combat, and hopefully kill, stick, and not stick around, get out of reform or whatever they have to do over them behind the Plus three and three chariots, which can hold somebody facing the chariots as opposed to turning around and a counter charge into the dragon. Um, so it's similar to the bloodthirster. You've got somebody with you know a good save that can do a bunch of attacks, and stomp at the end. Um, I think that multitude of attacks. Oh yeah. In combat, is just what I'm lacking. When I'm trying to do a Right. Ten attacks. Come on. No matter what magic buff they have. Right. You know. The one thing that we were kind of talking about is taking one of the special characters, the Snaggle guy, who he can make a unit of uh, fast cap. Probably the spider riders deploy on a flank like a reserve unit. Is that he can come on like turn three like a unit of miners? Okay, come um, around him. Yeah, and maybe throw in a character in with him on a giant spider. So I, that might be some offensive, but I don't know how offensive that would be. Not very high strength, but still effective. I, I suppose the other strength you could use with the goblin army is like with the wood elves, uh -huh. where I was actually able to beat demons, for example, when I would use a couple small units to divert half their army and then focus on the rest. You know, so if you can shoot the other half before you go in and hit it, even if you're not high strength, the combo charges, the multi charges, the chariot charges, the spear charges, those types of things can end up taking out so, so maybe it's a matter of diverting half their army while you're fighting. Right. And, and on that diversion, when you're diverting, you're only having probably an eighth of your army on that flank that diverts. Right. You've got the chief. Yeah. yeah. You've got a couple pump wagons or your fast cabs. You have to try it out. I really, that's the only way I've been overly, overall effective against most of my opponents. The, the problem I run into is when we run into a special scenario and the deployment is knocked around. Um, I had one game today, game one, where I had trolls on one flank on, on the left and then my general on the right. They ran forward, my general's unit just didn't do what it needed to do, got stuck in the river, they got stuck in combat, wasn't in the center, uh, the trolls were stupid for five rounds. Um, game two I won, but I split my opponent's deployment up, kind of like what you are saying, got half of their army on one side, focus on the other units, and then game three was tower scenario and I just didn't make it to the tower, I had really bad dice in combat. When I got up to it, uh, and then never really got into combat again with it until I turned six. And that was way too late. So, yeah. And on the other hand, what I love about eight, everything plays as it really characteristically should. Yeah. And a goblin army 
Should be Yeah. <laughs> so maybe that's just. It's one of the armies that you have fun with. Um, I mean, I'll, if if you ever change your mind about getting out of the pure goblin, you could just do goblin yeah, I style. I, I will do everything. Um, but 90, 99 goblins with the poison banners is pretty good. Yeah. They stick around. I took on 50 slaves coming at me one turn, then I got countercharged in the flank by 20 more, popped them, then 50 more came at me the uh, second round, I took it all out. Oh my god. Yeah, and I still had like 65 left. So, there you go. Yeah, you got four rings that could attack, they poison, you know, like, they got nets, so you can net. I didn't even use fanatics with that. I I didn't really think that they needed one. So what do you think about maxing out the artillery? I think I need to max out my artillery. Yes. Uh, two, uh, my rock armors did really well, and the doom diver is just eh, kind of like you can position your doom diver to be between two units, and the template that he's on, or the stand he comes on, is uh, the flying cavalry base one, so it's really an inch and a quarter. You can hit multiple units, but it don't, I've only done it like twice in three games, so the hit with a three inch template. Was a lot more effective, Okay, you're taking out more troops. Yeah. And a lot more people are toughness three and in large blocks. But with regards to knights, I haven't faced any knights in three games. But that's true, they aren't really prevalent. Right. So if you see 10 chaos knights, are like, we're 21. Yeah, we're shooting. I know, yeah, I know the primary target for a Doom Diver. But another thing, the Banglers work just as well as a Doom Diver. They get a full armor save, strength six. And when they shoot through, it's like three to six. And they're just kind of a missile you can put on auto. Pilot, and the opponent really has to worry about killing it, getting rid of it, so it's an excellent power. Yeah. All right. For sure. So, well, that was cool. We got our quick uh, Tactica talk in and about what Tom thinks of the Orcs and Goblins and his plans for the future. Uh, we'll talk to you a little bit later. Have fun. We're uh, recording live from Midwest Rampage. And Five! Yay! <laughs> Get on down here next year. All right. All right. Later. Boom. Ah. Uh. <laughs>